Okay, I'm just beside Galt Collegiate Institute in Galt, Ontario. I'm here with my dog, Rosie. I came down here just working on this homeless story and the adverse effects. And I came across some unfortunate stuff. It's kind of shitty. Like I, I'm doing a story on these people and it's very sad. But equally sad is the fact that down here, I don't mind that people sleep up there. I'd sleep there too. But I'd like to think that we could do some more outreach work to explain the dangers of these hypodermic needles. They're everywhere down here. I'll show you some. Anywhere where you see this, these blue ribbons, there's probably a needle around. The blue ribbon is to isolate the vein so that the person can put the needle into their arm. I saw a few here, there's one there. There's another there. There's more down there. There's quite a few up here. There's another one there. Like that there, you see the edge of that just sticking out? That is just, and there's people walking the dogs. Hello, and kids. It's terrible. And they leave their money next to their needles. There's another one there, that's a casing. This stuff, you're at a risk. I'm at a risk walking down here. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. But somebody, and it's not just us that are at danger, it's the people down here. Something has to be done. There's more. Very sad. Such a beautiful spot. Anyways, there's lots of rumors of needles in places where kids and dogs go. This is one of them. Be careful. I think more of it is fear mongering than anything, but there definitely are hazards out there in the community for everybody. So everybody needs to take precaution and be safe. Have a good day. This is I'm Press, Impress. I'll get my name straight. Reporting from Galt. Sign off, Rosie. How was that? Good. Good job.